Me, 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 me. Oh, good morning and welcome to WKPN. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Hillary. Today is March 6th, 2009. This is Music in Our Schools Month. And we are practicing for our debut. We will talk more about music after the pledges. Music has been around for centuries. There are different styles such as jazz, country, hip hop, classical, and good old rock and roll. Here at Arbor's Wagner, we have our own music programs. Our chorus and our strings perform concerts. Some of our own Wagner Wiz kids have participated in the production of the video, Don't Laugh At Me. Let's watch it now as we celebrate music in our schools. I've never realized how my words could affect someone else. Me either. We all need to stop and think about what we say and do. Great job on the music video and good luck at the video awards. Now let's see what we are having for lunch. Be sure and get plenty of rest. FCAP's coming up. And stay tuned for the Wiz Kid to get drawing. That's all the news for today's show. I'm Hillary. And I'm Melissa. Have a musical Friday. Bye. Bye. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Do you like our beads and our mask? We're coming to you directly from the Mardi Gras Festival. I'm Melissa. And I'm Hillary. Today is February 24th, 2009. After the pledges, we will take a look around. Please stand. Mardi Gras is celebrated all around the world. A lot of cities have parades and carnivals. The Ferris wheel is one of my favorites. Let's go on that one first. No way, Hillary. I do not do Ferris wheels. You know that. While I try to talk Alyssa into going on the Ferris wheel with me, let's join Emily with some Mardi Gras facts. Phew, I've worked up an appetite. There's lots of good food to eat here, like funnel cakes, Philly cheesesteaks, hamburgers, hot dogs. I don't know what to order. There's way too many choices. While we make our decision, let's see what you're having for today. This has been great. Yes, it has. We've learned a lot about Mardi Gras. Now it's time to collect our prizes and get out of here. That's all the news for today's show. I'm Hillary. And I'm Melissa. Happy, Happy Mardi Gras. Gras. Bye. Hillary, I still can't believe you talked me into coming to this pumpkin patch to watch the great pumpkin rise. Besides, we could be out trick-or-treating right now. Well, I thought it'd just be fun. And besides, we can't discuss it right now. We're on air. Good morning. Welcome to WKPN. Today's October 31st. Happy Halloween. I'm Hillary. And I'm Melissa. While you stand for the pledge, we'll talk about this matter. Please stand. I love Halloween. Carving pumpkins, getting candy, getting dressed up, getting candy, telling scary stories, and did I mention getting candy? Well, we aren't going to get any candy in a pumpkin patch. We need to go trick-or-treating instead of waiting for the great pumpkin to rise. Those are some great safety tips. You can have a safe and fun-filled evening. Yes, because we're really having a great time here. And besides, I'm kind of getting hungry since we don't have any candy. So, let's check out our menu. Tuesday, November 4th is voting day for our school. We'll be voting on who the next president will be. John McCain and Sarah Palin or Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Hillary, we've been waiting here enough. There's no great pumpkin. It's just like in the peanuts. Oh, Alyssa, look! There he is! I'm so excited! Ni hao. That means hello. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Today's January 26, 2009. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Hillary. We're reporting to you all the way from China. It is so colorful here on the streets of China. I love the architecture. But we will tell you more about it after the pledges. Please stand. A lot of Chinese work in factories or grow rice or different kinds of crops to help support their families. They eat meat, vegetables, fish, along with 
noodles, and soups. Speaking of food, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat lunch. And maybe we can try to eat chopsticks. Let's join Addison to see what you guys are having for lunch. The people here are getting ready for a very big celebration, the Chinese New Year. It is one of the world's most colorful celebrations taking place during January or February. It lasts for 15 days and marks the start of the new year. This is a parade with fireworks and dancers in costumes. A special figure in the parade is a large colorful dragon costume carried by many people. A dragon symbolizes good luck for the new year. Families clean their homes and get new clothes. They visit relatives, friends, and eat a special meal. It's an exciting time here, but let's see what's happening around Arbus Wagner. We've had an exciting time here in China. Hillary and I are going to enjoy our fortune cookies. I'm Hillary. And I'm Melissa. Chai Chen. Goodbye. Good morning, Wiz Kids, and we have a hot show for you today. After our show opening, we will go back inside at Lakeland Fire Station 5. Good morning, welcome to WKP, and today's October 9th, 2008. I'm Hillary. And I'm Alyssa. Firefighters have a very important job, and we've learned that they have to wear protective clothing called bunker gear to protect their bodies from the fire, heat, and their lungs from the smoke. Now let's go take a look inside. The fire department has a 1938 Persh frontline engine, which you may see in parades. The bell has to be rung by hand and driven using the stick shift. Today's engine has its own horns and flashing lights. It is much bigger with more equipment for rescues. They even carry its own water. A booster line is used to put out small fires. Well, we're off on our call. That's all news for today's show. I'm Hillary. And I'm Melissa. Have, Have a firefighter fire day. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Today is February 13th, 2009. I'm Hillary. And I'm Alyssa. Please stand for the pledge and the Wagner Wizkid Pledge. I love Valentine's Day. Me too. A lot of things are given out, such as chocolates and flowers and something else. Let's join Addison to find out. Mm -hmm. This looks good. I wonder if we're going to have any of this with our lunch. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen. Who are you? Don't forget to get something for your Valentine on Saturday. I'm Hillary. And I'm Alyssa. Watch out for those arrows. Bye. Bye. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Today's October 1st, 2008. I'm Hillary and it's Model T Ford Day. And I'm Alyssa. Hillary, have you noticed that we're not really in the WKPN studios? And why are we dressed in old timey clothes? Well, Alyssa, we're standing in front of a 1927 Model T Ford. Woohoo! Let's go inside and take a look. Alyssa, look at this old-timey steering wheel, and here's the start button. And how it says empty and full now, it says discharge and charge. And it only goes up to 60 miles an hour. And look at these funky windshield wipers. You have to do them by hand. And this fancy AC in the early 1900s. All right, what are you doing? I'm trying to predict how many candy corn are in this bag. And then, I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna count them. Well, while she's trying to make her prediction, please stand for the pledge and the Wagner Whiskey Pledge. Okay, I've made my guess, 230. Whoa, that's a lot. Are you sure you didn't go overboard? That was a great division problem. You know what, we're learning division in class. And you know what would be so cool? is if we could use candy corn to figure out a problem. You know what would be cooler? What? Is if we could eat the candy corn in our lunch. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen. That made me really hungry. Me too. Too bad we're not having candy corn in our lunch today. Are you ready to find out how many's in the bag? Sure. There is 366 candy corn in this bag. Mm, 
now there's 364. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Today's November 14th, 2008. I'm Melissa. And I'm Hillary. Please stand for the pledge and the Ragnar Ways Kid Pledge. Hi. Yeah. Excuse me, Alyssa, but exactly what are you doing and why are you wearing a bathrobe? I'm practicing my karate moves. I want to earn my white belt. On today's show, we have a special guest who is working on his second degree black belt. Haven't you seen the Karate Kid movies? Oh, uh, well, yes I have, but if I remember correctly, I think he was doing Taekwondo, not karate. Let's join Emily with our special guest. Chad sure has determination. I'm sure he can reach his ninth degree black belt. I agree. I imagine that he eats very healthy foods to give him the energy and concentration he needs to do well. Let's see what healthy foods we're having for our lunch today. Good morning and welcome to WKPN. Today's October 15th, 2008. I'm Melissa. And I'm Hillary. Alyssa and I have been experimenting with this toy train. We've been trying to figure out how roller coasters can go so close to going straight down and go so fast without falling off. And to be honest, we haven't really figured it out. So let's join our special guest speaker with some answers. So it's gravity that keeps roller coasters from falling off. Very interesting. But it sure isn't gravity that keeps my food from coming back up whenever I ride a roller coaster. My stomach does feel a little bit queasy. Well, I'm sorry, Hillary, but we need to go check the menu. My stomach does feel a little bit better now. And now for some announcements. That's all the news for today's show. I'm Hillary. And I'm Alyssa. Have a G-Force Thrill Ride Wednesday. Bye. Bye. 